beets are planted, it's the first crop planted every year. And harvest takes effect until the last beet is obviously brought into one of our facilities. This year we're expecting to harvest around 4.5 million tons. When we look at what Michigan State University can provide to Michigan Sugar Company Iron Growers, we look at it as that level of expertise above and beyond what we can do as an industry. What makes business succeed today is innovation. Trying to adapt new technologies, trying to find efficiencies to reduce costs, trying to find new markets to create some new opportunities. It's like a full body contact sport. The growers and the processors and the scientists have to stay engaged. If one party disengages, the whole thing starts to fall apart. You can tell when it's working right because wonderful things happen. That's where we are in Extension. We're in that middle ground, helping to translate new discoveries and innovations from science and engineering into application. With the resources the university have and what resources we have, we split that challenge. And at the end of the day, we put it all together in one book. It's a research book for our growers. And we choose a land grant university. And we were founded really with agriculture, engineering, home economics, research was added later, extension was added later. All of those developments have had a huge impact on the state of Michigan and continue to have an impact on it. 25, 30 years ago, 16 and a half sugar percentage was high. Today, 18 is normal. We want to be at 19% sugar. Our yields have gone from 18, 19 ton. Right now, it's 26, 27 ton. And this year, we hope to hit 29 ton. I mean, it's just phenomenal processing. Everything that's happening, it's a systems approach to production of sugar beets. It's fun to see that kind of success in, uh, in Michigan's economy. And it's extremely fulfilling for us to be a part of that. If people in the university will stay engaged, it'll provide the solutions for the problem tomorrow.